In my opinion, the EPA continues to over-regulate the energy industry, and, and with that, I, I don't think they have the ability to determine or examine the requirements. Mr. Fugate, uh, do you, I'm, I'm sure you're aware, based on what I have here as of December of 2015, we're con retiring, due to EPA policy, retiring or converting 81,423 megawatts or 499 units uh, based on regulation. Has FEMA done ex an examination of how the EPA regulations affect the grid and the capacity? Are you interested in doing that? Do you know what the capacity is and do you know the ramifications of the loss of the 499 units in the 81,000 plus megawatts? Uh, to be honest, Congressman, we really depend upon our partners in DHS that do that. Um, we are not the subject matter experts, so we de determine uh, our, for our infrastructure protection what that means and what those impacts are. Having come from the state of Florida, I will tell you that as we've seen these types of changes, We've seen a dependency move from coal fire to natural gas to peaker units. Uh, so we had to start planning for what happens there. I actually was in the probably unique experience of having a natural gas pipeline severed due to a lightning strike, knocked out all the natural gas to the southern and middle parts of the state. And we suddenly realized that we had a tremendous dependency on natural gas peaker units. And we were fortunate that we had mild weather. Otherwise, we would have had generator capacity shortfalls that would not be made up. So, so, we so if I could just partners for the information, I got, I got a limited amount of time here. So, so it, it, if FEMA is not doing it particularly, who are you getting the information? Which partner are you getting that information from? Who is assessing the effect of the regulation, the power, the loss of, the loss of, uh, 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 of capacity, and and the timing of that loss? Who's doing that of your partners? I would depend upon my partners to the left. We look at energy as a function of government because, you, as you point out, there are numerous parts of the regulatory and response structure. So we concentrate that all into a function. So with all due respect, may I ask your partner to the left, do you have that information? Are you tracking that? Thank you very much for the question. The department does look at reliability implications with respect to any sort of master uh, change in generation mix in the United States. With respect to the clean power plan, it is really going to be as the states develop their implementation plans, the assessment will occur with the regional reliability entities and the independent system operators where they will coordinate and understand the reliability impacts. So you don't know what it is up front or you don't assess it as it occurs? You don't know that, you know, so many plants uh, and so much capacity is leaving in Ohio or Pennsylvania or Alabama, you, you don't know that in advance and make an assessment of, uh, of the potential risk that's involved? So thank you. From a, wide, from a widespread reliability point of view, DOE believes that the Clean Power Plan and the regulations will not have any widespread reliability impacts, but the specific that... Well, hold on a second. Hold on. With the Chairman's indulgence, you believe that, but, but do you believe that because you have empirical data to support that belief, or you believe that because somebody's telling you that, or you believe that because you don't have any reason to disbelieve it? Right now, the utilities will work very hard to ensure reliability of the system. Any our past experiences, as any sort of reliability uh, concerns come up, there is strong coordination within the industry to address any sort of reliability impact. So, so does that mean if you thought that there was going to be a reliability impact based on the regulation and the capacity reduction that you would, uh, you would essentially exonerate or waive the requirements for a period of time to make sure that the capacity remains? Do, do you have a policy to do that? Or is there, is there a thought to that? Or, or what is your plan if you come up against something that doesn't comport with what you think it needs to be from a capacity standpoint? So within the Clean Power Plan, the states as they develop the, their uh, Clean Power Plan, their state uh, plans, they will be coordinating with the reliability entities, the ISOs and the RTOs, looking at any potential reliability implications. But how, how does that work since, for instance, I live in the PJM, which is a multi-state organization. It's not state by state. It's multi-states that all feed into the same grid. So how does one state's plan affect another, and how do, who coordinates whether reliability or capacity issues in that regard? 
the states are required as part of the Clean Power Plan to coordinate with PGM, and PJM has and will continue to do reliability analysis for that region. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate your indulgence.